Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Dear Dahlia Paradise Dream Velvet Lip Mousse Mini Scent. So I got mine in the pink collection. There are um, a few other ones I think. There's like the Best Sellers collection and something else. Cannot remember but there are three collections in total and I got the pink one. So if you saw this during the haul you will know that these are tiny. Um, there are six colours in this little tiny box. <laughs> they are so small. Like smaller than a normal mini. I was not expecting them to be so small because on Beauty Box Korea's website it does not list the mils or compare them to anything else. So like it doesn't have this next to like an eyeshadow palette so that you can see how freaking tiny it is. It's just, you know, like, oh, this is a nice little set. So if you're going to buy the set, they, they're just so small, okay? Just, they're so small. So before we get into the review, I have been trying out some new editing software. If you've seen some like random stuff popping up, I am going to try and put in some bullet points for you guys to show timestamps. Normally when I do a review, everything is broken down into small sections anyway. So like a product description, packaging, how it applies, how it wears throughout the day, um, if it's applicable, and then like a final thoughts or like um, a color selection. So I'm going to try and put some bullet points with timestamps. You cannot click on them, they are just um, a visual cue for you guys. But feel free to fast forward the video through, like if you're only interested in seeing these colours side by side, then um, this is where you will find this information. I don't know what side it's going to be on, so wherever that is. Let me know if this is helpful for you guys. It does involve me um, purchasing new software, so if it is extremely helpful, it's not something that I can do on the old editing software. So I have trial at the moment of this one, which is Final Cut Pro, which is like $500. It's a one-off purchase. It's not that bad, really. But if it is significantly helpful, then it's something that I would look into purchasing so that I can make the reviews better and um, more accessible for everybody. So let's get into the review. The product description for this one says, a high pigment liquid lip tint with a unique whipped mousse-like texture. Paradise Dream Velvet Lip Mousse with a unique whipped velvety texture effortlessly glides onto your lips, offering a dreamy soft focus powdery matte finish. The weightless high pigment formula continuously wraps your lips with intense color, ensuring long wear without the drying discomfort. So the packaging of these products is really cute because I do have the little set. It comes in a very sweet little box with a marble finish. It also has some gold embossed writing on the front, which is all very luxe. There are six colors in the pink collection and they are, of course, all pinks. The reason that I decided to pick up the pink collection was because it has the color ballet in it, which I just thought was so pretty. And it is actually the color that I'm wearing at the moment. I just have something over the top, which is um, the Holoka Holoka Devil's Bumper, which I'm regretting putting on because I wanted it to look a little Bit more glossy and like cute but like does that not look so cute with like this top actually is pushing on it and on the back just so you can see um adorable so it's a very cute mood today okay so i know that this eyeshadow was a terrible choice for these swatches but we'll all just live with it right ballet is a really pretty pale pink color i haven't tried gradienting these so i'll give it a little go yeah, they work as a gradient. So this is how ballet would look as a gradient. It is a really pale color, so you can't see it that much, but you could use it as a gradient with some of the other colors because they do have a really beautiful silicone-y sort of slippery and blendable formula. So I'll do a full little cover. And this is how ballet looks. I love this color, obviously. It's a beautiful pink. Um, and I feel like it looks really nice on my skin tone. It's very natural. It's not too intense, which is really nice. I also really like the formula of them. They are really soft, silky feeling. They do accentuate um, some of the flakes on the lips, but not the wrinkles. So the wrinkles don't look any better or worse than they normally would be. But if you have flaky lips, which I did when I was doing um, the Get Ready With Me, they look terrible. <laughs> so I've got to put that out there. Wrinkles, not accentuated. Flaws um, and flakes, not good. So this is ballet. Guava is a pale sort of peachy pink, which is really pretty as well. So this is how guava looks like as a gradient. I don't really think that you can see very much of it because again, it is a more pale color. So I'm gonna do this one as a full lip application. So this is how guava looks. It is getting caught on a few flaky bits of my lip, um, which hopefully you won't be able to see because it is a bit further away. But this is another really beautiful color in comparison to ballet. This one is a little bit more orangey or warmer in tone. So it looks a little bit nicer um, with the choice of the red eyeshadow. <laughs> I feel like these tints are quite sheer though, so they don't have a very full coverage, even when they are full coverage, which is why when I do the gradients with them, they don't look as obvious, especially in the lighter colors. So this is Guava. 
Can Can is a little bit more of a brighter pink. So this is how Can Can looks as a gradient. Um, it's still not that easy to see, but it is definitely a lot easier um, for me to see in real life. Like I definitely can see that. This is a like almost a neon kind of color pink. So this is Can Can as a full lip cover. Really pretty um, because it is more sheer, obviously. Again, the color pink, like it's not so neon on the actual lips when you put a whole cover of it on, but still really beautiful, really soft formula. Just really nice. So this is Can Can. Cranberry is kind of like the mauve color of the group. This one actually makes a really beautiful gradient. So you can see it a little bit better, but it is a really like similar color to my own lips. So it does look really natural. And then there is a full lip color. Again, another beautiful color, a really nice pink. <laughs> this is the more mauve um, purpley of all of the colors. So this is Cranberry. Next up we have Haute, like Haute Couture, which I'm probably butchering the name of, but um, yep, I'm sorry to everyone who thinks that that's terrible pronunciation. Haute is a French word, right? So, wouldn't that mean that the H is silent? Haute? Haute? I'm not percent sure. So this is what this one looks like as a gradient. This one is a brighter pink. In comparison to the other bright pinks, which are Can Can, um, well, there's only other one. This one is a little bit more of a like um, cooler tone pink. It's a bit more of a purpley pink in comparison. So this one, it shows up really nicely as a gradient. Again, the colors are really soft, so it's not super, super bright. And this is how we look as a full lip color. This is one that I would normally stay a little bit away from. Like it's not my favorite color, um, but I would still wear it sometimes. But um, generally this kind of color doesn't look as good on me as a slightly warmer tone would. So the cooler tone pinks always look a little bit funny. And I feel like their teeth look really yellow as well. So not a favorite, but still a really beautiful color. So this is Haute or Oat, I guess. Fever is the darkest of the pink colors and it is kind of like a nice mid-tone rosy red in a pink way. So this one looks beautiful as a gradient. I could imagine putting this together with ballet. So ballet all over the lips and then this in the center would be beautiful. It's like a nice berry rosy stain, which is really cute. And this is how it looks as a full application. Really, really beautiful, really bright, like a beautiful berry color, which I think I've already said about a million times. But yeah, it is seriously very cute. So this is Fever. So all in all, I actually really like these and I kind of didn't want to because individually they are 26 US dollars each, which is quite a lot of money. But, but. Let's break it down into some small sections. So the packaging, obviously these are miniatures and they are ridiculously small. Um, so I'm not really gonna talk about much about the packaging, but if you look at the full size, it does look really cute. It has the marble top and like a little gold bottom um, and they do just look quite nice. I'm wondering how big they are though, because if they don't fit into the storage inside my um, drawer here, I'm gonna be so mad about it because I want them. Like it just looks very squat, which means that if it's really short, it's probably gonna be really fat. Um, so then moving on to the color selection, obviously I only got the pinks, but I like pretty much all of them. Ballet is definitely my favorite, but I do get a lot of wear out of the other colors. I think the one that I wear the least is, couldn't figure out if it was Haute or Oat with a silent H. Just because that one is very neon, I just didn't feel like I got the most wear out of it. The formula though, I love it and I don't love it at the same time. So I love the fact that it is a really beautifully pigmented mousse. It feels lovely on the lips and it makes the wrinkles look very nice. Like it's very flattering for wrinkles, but it is not flattering on flakiness. So I have to make sure that I prepare my lips very, very well so that there are no little flakes. Even today, like I thought I did a good job, but the flakes, you see the flakes, you just, you can see them. So it helps to put a gloss over the top because you can see the flakes a little bit less. But yeah, if you are prone to flaky lips, like I definitely am, I don't know why, the skin on my lips just doesn't want to stay on it. It's just like, I'm going to dry it and come off and I'm going to look really bad while doing it. Um, this is probably not a product I would recommend for you if you're not interested in putting more work into lip prep. However, as someone who also has chronically wrinkly lips, like why did I get like small-ish wrinkly flaky lips like um if you have wrinkly lips it looks so nice like the formula the formula is so nice on wrinkly lips i love it it's just so pretty so yeah flaky lips no wrinkly lips yes a combination of both you can make it work if you get rid of the flakes so if you're exfoliating your lips in the morning yes it will work really well i don't think that it dried out my lips very much but also i didn't wear these for a very long period of time because masks. 
I don't like putting a mask on top of lipsticks because I feel like my mask is touching the mask then it's gonna rub the lipstick off onto the inside of the mask, which is then gonna rub like lipstick onto my chin or something stupid like that. So I can't say that I've worn these for a whole day without um, blotting them or having to take them off because of this. Um, and I don't really see that changing in the future for the next few weeks or so. So it's not something that I can really um, test out for you guys, unfortunately, but I don't feel like they felt unnecessarily dry. And that is pretty much about it. So I'm gonna be going through the colors. Um, I think I'm almost, almost certainly going to hit ballet and then maybe some of the other colors as well. I don't know. Are you guys interested in seeing the other colors in the two collections? So there are, let me just, okay. Let me find the actual information that I'm trying to talk about. <gasps> They're sold out. Absolutely not. Okay, so there are four collections. There's the Teddy Bear collection, Bears and B-A-R-E, which is super cute. I believe that is the nudes. I can get that. I feel like I want to get that now because the other ones are sold out. The Best Seller collection, which I probably wouldn't need if I got the other one. I've got the pink collection and then the red collection, which is also sold out. So unfortunately, you guys cannot purchase this from Beautybox Korea right now, which is a pain. Um, but if you guys would like to see me review the teddy bear collection, then let me know. And if it is in stock, I will purchase it so that you guys can see all of the colors. But otherwise, I really, really enjoy these lip products. I was kind of hoping that I didn't because Dear Dahlia products are so expensive, but unfortunately, Fortunately, I guess like it's nice to find nice products, right? I do really like them. So thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you in the next one. Bye!